In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a cookie banner on your Wix website. First of all, a disclaimer. I'm not a lawyer. This is a how-to video about how to put a cookie banner on your site. It is not a why you should put a cookie banner on your site or if you should put one on your site. It is just how to do it. If you want to know the ins and outs of why, I suggest Googling some other <laughs> videos by lawyers who can tell you exactly why to do that. I feel like some people think that building a website is as easy or sort of the same thing as putting a flyer up on a bulletin board in a grocery store, you know, with the little cutouts in it for your telephone number that people can rip off and call you. But that's not what a website is. Maybe it was in 1995, but that's not what it is now. Now your website is your business. It's your business just as much as if it was in a building. And as such, there are legal rules about how you must run your business. These rules are there not just to protect your customers, they're there to protect you as well. So it's worth your time to make sure that you've got everything squared away as far as these go. And I'm talking about things like your privacy policy, your terms or conditions on your website, and this cookie banner. There's also accessibility. Wix has an accessibility wizard that's really great that you can use and you can have an accessibility statement on your site. So there are a few things that you might want to have. So as I said, cookie banner, terms and conditions, accessibility statement, and I'm forgetting one right now. What is it? Um, privacy policy. And if you've got all those things on your website, you're probably good to go. And I'll put some links down underneath this to support articles in Wix where you can find out more about each of these documents. What are cookies? Here's a definition from Google on what a cookie is. Cookies are files created by websites you visit. They make your online experience easier by saving browser information. With cookies, sites can keep you signed in, remember your site preferences, and give you locally relevant content. So if you go to a website, it makes a little file and it puts the file on your computer. So the next time you go to that website, the website remembers you. Normally it's a very helpful thing. And that little file, that's the cookie. The most obvious example is when you go to a site that you've been to a number of times and you don't always have to sign into the site. The site remembers that you've signed in and that that is a function of cookies. However, really private stuff like your credit card information, that's not stored in cookies. What is a cookie banner? A cookie banner is just a pop-up where you say, hey, my website is probably gonna make some cookies and put them in the cookie jar on your computer. Is that okay with you? That's it. If you live or do business in, even if you're in the United States or Canada and you're doing business in Europe, it's the law that you must have a cookie banner. In the US, not so much, but it's becoming more and more common. And seriously, it's so easy to make, you may as well have one. So here's how to do it. So this is the back end of my website and my, my business design website, Beard Design, and I'm gonna add a cookie banner to it. So I'm going to go to this main dashboard page here, dashboard page here, and I'm going to go down over on the left-hand side into settings. You do not go into the site editor to add a cookie banner. You can't even access the cookie banner from the inside of the editor. You have to go into this settings area here. So go into settings, go into privacy and cookies. And then you're going to go into display a cookie consent banner. You've also got about your privacy policy in here as well. Which I actually do have set up on my site. So display cookie banner on site. I'm going to click that over for a yes. And it's going to automatically give me this one along the bottom here and it's just black and white. Very simple, very plain. This is all you need. You don't have to make it customized at all. You can change it from white with black on it to black with white on it or 
you know, whichever you want, you can customize it. That is my, those are my site colors there. I'm gonna change it to that color. So it will automatically have your site colors in here and this is the site, my main site font already in here. If you wanna change it to something else, you can. Now it's got a square button. All the buttons on my website are round. So I'm gonna change this to rounded corners as well to match my website. And then um, I can change what the text says. Right now, this part here, this long part says, we use cookies on our website to see how you interact with it by accepting you agree to, to our use of such cookies. Why would you need to change it? You, you know, you can make it say something clever if you want. What I might do is because this is my website and I am branded as the person on this website, I might say, I use cookies on my website to see how you interact with it by accepting you agree to my use of such cookies. I might put that just to make it more personally from me. But I don't think I'm going to change, you know, settings. I don't think I'm going to change accept or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it as is. There's um, privacy policy. I think I have privacy policy. There we go. I'm going to link the privacy policy. Please choose a page to link your privacy policy to. And that's what I've done. And then I'm going to review the cookie policy requirements. And so have a look at that. And if that looks good to you, and again, there's learn more for each of these so you can find out what everything is. And I give that a click. And then I'm gonna save and publish. And then it says, go to live site. Let's go to the live site. and see what's going on there, see if it pops up. So now it says we use cookies on our website to see how you interact with it, you know, so on and so forth. There's a link right here to my privacy policy that will go to my privacy policy page here. And then I can accept the cookies. If I go into settings, it will tell me exactly what cookies, you know, what cookies there are, whether you know, I want to enable or disable other things. Uh, like honestly, on on the websites you visit, this is probably all in there, and we just we just always I just always click accept myself, <laughs> but maybe some people don't um, because I want to get to the website and shop for the thing I'm looking for most of the time. Um, anyway, so that's what happens if you click settings. If you click accept, it just goes away. And uh, that's it. That is how you put a cookie banner on your site. Super simple. And if you've already got your fonts and your colors set up in your website, like I have taught you to in a previous video, this, is, this literally will take you less than 10 minutes to set up. If you've been watching my previous videos, you know how to, to start a site from scratch, you know how to set up your fonts and your colors, and you know how to create pages and all those other things to get you to the point where you're adding this cookie banner. And here is a link to where you can find those other videos and go ahead and watch them and get your site going. And thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.